Welcome back. The movie begins with the leading character Blanca, who is meditating. While meditating, she sees a vision in which smoke entraps her. She also looks at the shadow of a boy, but is unable to approach him. Blanca's sister arrives and uses her magic to control her. Scene changes when Blanca reveals that she has been meditating for 500 years. But something is resisting her from reaching the truth. So, she is sick of it. Her sister also tries to console her. She also gives her a unique hairpin that raises rays and overwhelms Blanca. The scene jumps to 500 years before, a ship where Blanca is in maiden clothes. She is on a ship and attacks the soldiers of the general. She also makes a hole in the window and throws the hairpin that her sister gave her. General is busy absorbing the power of snakes and also dodges her attack. The general soldier runs to strike her. Both use their magical ability to overpower, but soldier proves dominant. He pushes her into the sea with his power. In the following scene, she wakes up in the hut that an old lady owns. This old lady informs her that she is in Snake Catcher Village. Also, people live here by hunting snakes, and Swan took her here. Blanca has forgotten everything and looks at the handsome guy Swan. Swan is also the main character who prefers to avoid hunting snakes. When Blanca confronts the snack, she can understand the language of trapped snakes. They are asking for help from her. Meanwhile, Zuan takes her to another place to freshen her mind. Blanca inquires about the reason for capturing snakes. They catch snakes because the general doesn't take tax from them by acquiring snakes. So they have adopted this profession for a living. Dudu, Zuan's pet dog, want to take them through a shortcut and slip from the mountain. Before he dies from a falling mountain, Blanca uses her magic and holds him in her arms. Zuan is astonished to see that because humans can't do this. He chases her and Blanca floating in the air through her powers. However, they reach the hut that Zuan builds. Zuan wants to become a doctor to avoid hunting. Here he studies herbs, stars, and many others. She sees a vision when he tells her that he saw her near the waterfall. In this vision, she saw a lady assigning her task to kill the general. At the same time, Swan keeps his hand on her shoulder and asks if she is okay. She pushes him away and he starts flying through the umbrella. Both enjoy the beauty of nature while flying. Snake also attacks Chuan by rolling around his neck, but Blanca saves him. She threw the snake away, but they got in balance and Swan was about to fall from the mountain. He is hanging through the hairpin and when she touches it, she faints. A magical hairpin throws her from the mountain and Swan also follows her to save her. When he reached the ground, he saw Blanca fainted with the general's assassins. They want to kill her, but Swan makes a weapon by bounding a stone with the stick. He strikes them with this weapon and takes Blanca to the village. At night, Blanca awakens and looks at Swan, who is beholding a hairpin. She knows that there is a connection between her and the hairpin. There is also something engraved that is Precious Jade. Precious Jade is a workshop where they can find any clue. She also tells him to stay away because she can be dangerous. But Swan has faith that Blanca is not evil. At the same time, he looks at the general soldiers coming toward the village. He takes her away. However, the general soldiers are pursuing the owner of the umbrella and the girl who wore white cloth. The general soldiers grab the infant child with a sword and threaten them to tell about the girl. As a result, they have no choice but to tell him she is with Swan. The scene shifts to a cave. Many snakes gather to talk about White Snake. There is also a snake who complains that Blanca attacked him. Further, she is with humans. It reveals that she has betrayed the snake community. Snake Master arrives and is furious to know that Blanca is with the snake hunter. Meanwhile, Blanca's sister arrives and says she will bring her back. She also requests to do scorching death scale magic on her. Snake Master does as she says. Now, she has to get her back. Otherwise, she can face death after three days. In the following scene, the general soldiers transform Swan's belongings into bats to keep an eye on him. He also transmits the message to the general to come here. By absorbing the white snake's power, they don't need to get the energy of other snakes. Scene changes to vote through which they are going to the workshop. Swan tells her to enjoy the happy moments instead of overthinking. Both sing a song and have a memorable time. She also grants power to his dog to communicate. Meanwhile, the demon snake attacks Blanca because she is with humans. Further, the rumor is accurate, so he throws the boat owner away. Demon snake also uses a scorching airwave that penetrates in their ear. When he is about to kill Swan, she turns into a white snake and a chopped demon snake. 
In this fight, she becomes exhausted and starts feeling frozen. Additionally, she has lost consciousness. Xuan takes her to the wooden home that starts to freeze because of the white snake. His pet dog asks him to leave the demon and escape, but he prefers to protect her by lighting up the fire and providing heat by embracing her. The following morning, when Blanca awakes, she has perfectly all right. Swan's pet dog is aware that what happened last night. She continuously thinks that she is a demon. So, Swan arrives and ensures it doesn't matter whether she is a demon or human. He feels that she is not evil like other demons. Scene changes, where Blanca is depressed to see the cruelty of the Imperials toward the poor class. However, they have reached the precious Jade Work Show. Here they met with the dual face girl. She has a human face and a fox face. They inquire about the hairpin. She knows and takes them inside the shop. It's vast and full of wonders. They can find demon artifacts that are filled with demon characteristics. Thus, this hairpin absorbs the power and transfers it to its owner. She is not the old owner of this hairpin, but now she is the owner because this pin has been transferred to her. As this artifact has altered the owner, it has disadvantages. Blanca has forgotten her past because of this. They want to meet with the actual owner, so she gives them a snake scale to locate. While crossing the forest, something enters Xuan's clothes. They also see a snake that turns into a human. When she attacks Xuan by calling him Snake Hunter, Xuan fights with her. Their hands meet, and she recalls her past. Now, she knows that she is her sister, Verva. Scene switches to the house, where she is unable to remember the task given by Snake Mater. On the other hand, she cannot trust him and throws him from the second floor. At the same time, she catches him with rope. She also saw bats coming out of his clothes. Verda thinks that she has a connection with the general, but Swan doesn't know anything, and Blanta also trusts him. Aside from this, Verda is not ready to trust him, so she attacks him and makes a hole in the floor. She continuously strikes him with a laser, and both Blanca and Swan reach the mysterious place. The door has closed, so Verda can't enter, but this place looks like a tunnel. There is also a chamber and also eagle on the ceiling. This eagle captures Blanca and starts through blue fire on her, but Swan saves her from this beast. He takes her to another chamber through the door to solve the puzzle. This is an exorcism chamber where she recovers herself. Swan also goes from here to figure out to escape from here. Meanwhile, Blanca reminds everything by reading something about the demon skeleton. Swan has also located a way to get rid of this place but she is in a miserable condition by thinking she is a demon. So, Swan calms her down by telling her that he is always with her. Scene changes when Verda is waiting for them by keeping her foot on Swan's dog. However, she comes outside and Blanca moves to Verda. She has understood that their ways are separate. Humans and demons can't live together, but Swan doesn't lose heart and decides to bring a solution to this trouble. Now, they have reached the house where they were, Verda is persuading her to return to Snake Master. Blanca wants to stay here and doesn't want to leave Suan. Although she has spent thousands of years with Verda now, things have changed a lot. However, Scorching Death Scale is tormenting Verda. She says that Suan will not like you if he knows your true nature. Blanca also has seen the Scorching Death Scale that can take her life. Nonetheless, the general soldiers arrive with three head demons. He wants to absorb their power by snatching hairpin. He also wondered how she could attack his master with a mere hairpin. Further, they start the fight by transforming into snakes. They threw a statue at him and killed three head demons. His veil is removed, and there are scars on his face that are making him ugly. Scene changes when Swan is in Precious Jade. She gives him the solution that he should become a monster. By becoming a monster, he can live with the girl he loves. But there is also a disadvantage in that he needs to withdraw from his safety. Humans are safe and secure, but people want to kill demons. Besides, she also demands human essence from him in exchange for a monster. Xuan is also ready to do it. As a result, he becomes furious and starts throwing hundreds of sharp weapons at them. They are trying to dodge them and make fun of him. At the same time, he made a cage of yellow thread and entangled them inside the yellow laser. By trapping them, he is snatching her hairpin, but Blanca is not ready to give him. Thus, the hairpin creates a massive explosion. In the following scene, Zuan becomes a demon. Zuan has gotten his dog's tail, and his dog is deprived of the tail. Zuan's speed has become faster, reaching the house where Blanca should be. But this place was destroyed entirely. 
Here, he also saw the general soldier, terrified and in the worst condition. When he looks at the village near him, there is also a collapse due to a white snake. Soon, he realizes that this white snake is his Blanca because he doesn't attack him. Additionally, it leaves the infant child and his mother. Berta also arrives and approves that she has become a giant python. In the following scene, Xuan alerts everyone to leave this place. But none will believe them because their village wall is extraordinary for Python to cross. Meanwhile, the general arrives with grandeur, making them aware that he is a demon. People start hating him by knowing his true identity. He also entraps him, but giant Python has arrived. Xuan wants to stop her, so he leaves him to calm down Blanca. Moreover, he goes to Blanca, who is furious and doesn't listen to him. But he shows his tail and asks her to spit out her anger. He tries to persuade her that she is not evil, so she shouldn't harm innocent people. Additionally, he convinces her that they can live in another place, and Blanca is convinced. Meanwhile, the general intertwines her in the clutches of death. When her sister Verda arrives to save her, she is also entangled. Apart from this, Generals is obliged to Xuan because he cannot capture Blanca without him. If he absorbs their soul or essence, they will not be eligible for reborn. He is draining their power with his weapon and wants to get immortality through it. Meanwhile, the Snake Master has arrived to kill the General. Both start competing with each other through their power. Snake Master awakens the Golden Snake to fight and General fights with the bird. During the fight, he drops the device and they have set free. Giant Python and Snake Master both battle with General. Verta also penetrates the hairpin into his body, which causes his death. After a hazardous war, Blanca was also tired. Snake Master commands his subordinates to kill all the people. Snake Master warriors are now killing soldiers of General. Swan also closes the door of his village by killing snakes. Scene shifts where Verta hands over the hairpin that she gave Blanca for killing the General. But she is also evil by nature. She drains her power and throws the hairpin away. Snake Master also wants to become the most powerful master in the world. When Python sees that her sister is in danger then, she arises to fight with her. Snake Masters also absorb the power of each snake and become double-faced venom snakes. She overpowered Python and started draining her ability. Xuan realizes that Blanca is in danger, so he runs to protect her. Blanca has transformed into the human body, and Xuan turns on General's device. This device has captured Snake Master and started freezing her. This place is freezing, and he is taking Blanca out to find the door of life. They are freezing by remembering good moments. On the other hand, villagers also come to protect Xuan. But it's too late, Xuan is frozen, and his soul will be extinguished. But Blanca doesn't permit him to do that through her hairpin. Villagers also drop the device to make this spell spot. Scene changes to 500 years after, where she is waiting for Xuan. His soul is not extinguished so that he can be reborn. She also knows that when he is born, then he will forget her. Despite this, she is waiting for him and ready to deal with it. In the last scene, we see Xuan, who has been born but has forgotten his past. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching.